Thank you for doing this, all of you. The courage it takes to do what we are about to do is so impressive to me. So whether you're on the stage or behind the scenes, all of this, like I said, student-led, student-produced, I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you for your courage. And you know I love you guys so much, all right? You guys are awesome. Thank you for a big round of applause. Let's do this. All right, the next, last audience, thank you for showing up. And if nothing else today, may you be inspired by these poets, and may you find your own voice, and may you always speak your truths, all right? So with that being said, let this awesome student-led show begin. Broken by humans. Humans who don't care. 
broken. broken. Turtles get caught in nets, decomposing away. Birds swallow plastic, dying slowly every day. Animals get caught in garbage all about. Animals die from all this trash until the population is all out. Versatile. Animals can't be versatile. They're forced to change and adapt. Things they can't control. Lives being pushed and changed every which way. But humans can make changes. Making a big change. Changing the big junkyard. The junkyard is so big, it's twice the size of Texas. Change. Change, change the way the ocean is. The most versatile of homes, which belongs to 20% of life. Life being destroyed. Destroyed by humans. Humans can't make changes. Humans can't be versatile. It's almost Friday. You know what that means. WMS. Yeah, I know. But Mr. Lawson fired me. Dang, your jokes are kind of funny. Who's the new guy? I don't know. Mr. Lawson wanted to be some seventh grader. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you lost your job to a seventh grader? I don't want to talk Pollution is a problem. We have to find a way to solve them. We dump 14 billions of pounds of plastic into our oceans each year. We need to stop this. I bet you no matter where you go. There would be plastic and littered trash on the floor. We need to start paying attention to this. Our oceans are being drowned <coughs> by billions and billions of plastic. And we're killing the marine wildlife. This is not fantastic. And neither is plastic. We need to stop using paper. Then there won't be a lack of trees. Then we won't have to flee this planet. Stop using paper and plastic bags. It'd be better for our planet to use recyclable bags. Fossil fuel cars release toxic gases. Which will lead us to the global warming turn us to ashes. Plus fossil fuel cars are evaporating our oceans. Kind of like a magical potion. If you got trash, go throw it away. Go bleed on the ground with the cake. If you got trash, go throw it away. Let's keep our earth clean. Or looking like nicotine. Looking scarier than Halloween. Let's stop buying gasoline. And let's keep our earth clean. Let's sweep up the plastic. And make our earth non-toxic. Earth is our home. So let's get into our zone. Let's do everything we can in our power. To make our planet bloom like a flower. So please don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. And let's stop pollution. Hunger, unease or pain caused by lack of food. Are you ever hungry? Do you ever have the feeling of real hunger? Real fatigue, starvation, the taste of saliva from dehydration, the feeling of hunger, the aggravation, or never having satisfaction or confirmation of death by action? Probably not. I don't think you've ever gone to bed hungry every night. Have you ever had to walk eight miles for a bucket of water? Have you ever worked your hardest for the reward most people can't have, can't earn? Some people do it for themselves, but some people do it for others. And some people are see-through, but you can see the hunger in their eyes. See, we don't think it's that big a problem, but 9.1 million people die each year. That's 9.1 million people that die from not getting enough food. That's 9.1 million people that die from not getting enough nutrition. That's 9.1 million people that don't deserve to die. Of those 9.1 million people, 3.1 million of those people are children. 3.1 million of us die each year. That's one in every six children. 45% of those children are under the age of five. And all these people die from what we take for granted, what we ourselves have never truly felt. True hunger, true thirst. See, we never worry where our next meal will come from. We never truly have an empty stomach. The average human can go three weeks without food. That's three weeks with absolutely no food. And some people don't get a choice, but they don't complain. We get a choice, and we don't get what we want, and we complain. See, I don't think you've ever had an empty stomach, yet some people leave this world without ever feeling true hunger. Now think, 
Are you ever hungry? Do you ever have the feeling of real hunger? Real fatigue, starvation, the taste of saliva from dehydration, the feeling of hunger, the aggravation, or never having satisfaction or confirmation of death by action? Probably not.
I sat alone, alone at home, my shoes are silent, my mind is silent. My heart became a rare thing to all over my face. We all say, always be yourself, but how can you if you can't even live with yourself because of others? But look around, how does it feel knowing that teenagers are depressed and drug obsessed? Do you hate anyone that you How you dress and what you got in your last test? They lie and say goodbye, no life is too nice, and no one will make your eyes. We all say, always be yourself. But how can you? Well, look around, how's it feel knowing that girl's not eating? I'm scared. Putting makeup, trying to look prettier, trying to look like the right kind of girl. You need to know that you're not the size of the clothes you wear, you're not the color of your hair, you're not your age or your name, you're not the same, and you don't have a plan. Mirrors are just glass, and more than that. But well, look around, how's it feel knowing a fake smile on the force lap is much easier? Then explaining what's wrong with you, even the smallest ways can make a difference. Our world, world isn't officially broken. It's time to stay in your thoughts and to be spoken. Right here, right now. <laughs> From late December 2018 to late January 2019, the president of our own country was leveraging the pay of hundreds of thousands of people. Every one of their livelihoods, their children, their houses, everything they have, all for a wall. For a wall that he believes will bring illegal immigration out of the southern border to an end. The wall is estimated by Donald Trump to cost around $10 billion. Others estimate it could cost upwards of $15 billion. With this, wall, with this money, the country could do so much better. They can help expedite the process of immigration so that way people aren't forced to enter illegally. Now I understand that people may be bringing in drugs through where there are no borders, but they can easily take alternate routes if they really wanted to get them in. They could take underground tunnels or just go straight through the border itself. The reason immigrants are coming here is because they come, have come here in search of a better place to live and better living conditions. Isn't that the same reason pilgrims came here? They came here in search of a better life, of a better place to live and, a, and to make a better life for themselves. What are you gonna do now that you can't do jokes? I don't know. I'll think about being a rapper. You. Rapping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, call me Young K. <coughs> young Ketchup. <laughs> young Ketchup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But call me Young K for short. <laughs> Got you. So why do we always throw them under the bus? Treating them like they're nothing. Treating them like they're a thing. We need to stop hurting animals and start helping them. And stop, stop animal cruelty. You're not part of a statue. You're not a tree. If you don't like something, change it. They say the roots of education are better, but the inside is for sure hitter. You're brave enough to speak, you aren't made out of stone, or I don't know. You aren't rushed up, but you are shushed up. Why don't you just back up? You're not a robot. You need to let your emotions drain, because you are insane. You're in as fast as a train, you just remember the name, pain. Did it rain? No, it's still the pain in my vein. They say you know what you are, but you don't know what you may be. Talking isn't doing, it's just a way of saying, again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. At the end of the day, I'm not a chain, a statue, a stone, a tree.
you know, forget about me, I'll be saved. There's no one known to me. An ocean of friends, family, and people I've known. Memories coming back like boys at first sight. This is the real quick thing we play. When you want to see the moment, when you two look at us, don't be really worried, it's okay with the black man. Cut people off, open up to no one. Soon, all feelings will dissolve in your emotion. You see the emotions of love, but they're only hidden in the box, the one you forbid yourself to open up at the moment. Don't see you leave me, the one I passed apart. Life has taken so many relationships apart, so it's one more the ocean of past known. In the game of life, your mind is of stone. The unknown of any relationship is also unknown. In the end, you'll drift apart, not knowing what had happened, not knowing how it's hurt. So don't hurt. Less than a week that we're tied to our seats. Less than a week that we have standards to meet. Less than a week filled with the clock. Less than a week with homework to mock. Less than a week of trudging to this place. Less than a week being told my grades are a disgrace. Less than a week that's five more days. Five more days till we're out of this maze. Five more days of waking up in a haze. Five more days of mindless thinking. Five more days where our heads are aching. Five more days that's less than a week. Less than a week till our brains can mend. Less than a week, I can barely comprehend. Less than a week to take hold of good moments that tend to go overseen. Less than a week, we're almost done. Class of 2019. song, Ace of Spades, it went viral. I know it. What are you going to do now? Probably grab some new songs. I think I'll start the next one going. Every day is a struggle. <laughs> okay, young K. Sorry, everyone. I, I don't know why I'm supposed to be doing this. It just really isn't my thing. I mean, the perils of potential possibilities of losing all my power, ravaged by the unfamiliar passage of time, it just really turns my mind. All my peers, they look at my failures as if they shouldn't exist, like my definition, my life, my monolith, and all I ever do is just gone from my normal anomalies, blocking from my familiar fears. Thanks to the towering truth, but in the scope of things, it's just really all in my mind. My middle school. Mine was mine. Oh, was I, okay. I can't be acting like this. There are probably many other people next to me that are tearing themselves up just to follow the show, but they keep it to themselves just for the sake of it. Here I am making you listen to my fuss about cap homes. What was I thinking? Stop giving us packets. What's so interesting about weather? It's as interesting as a father. 
I might as well take it zero, because then I'll be a hero. Russell, what's with the journalism? That big task needs to be addressed. What's with all this work? I don't need to complain, but we're tied to the chain. School ends in one week. I can't wait to lay by the beach. All these projects and tests is nothing new than mess. I'd rather go fishing than stay in this prison. We could catch catfish and bass, but I have plenty of time for mass. I'm a good Catholic boy, and it brings up on such joy. <laughs> I want to chill at the pool with no rules. I want to chill with the boys and take a trip out of Illinois. All this work is outrageous, it's starting to be contagious. We could raid an ice cream truck, I hope I don't get stuck. Man, I can't wait for summer, this is such a bummer. I can't wait for the 4th of July so I can go ham on the chicken thighs. <laughs> but we have to wait, do a work and concentrate. Man, life's crazy. <laughs> Sun comes up, sun comes down, moon comes up, moon comes down. They don't care, they never will. They just sit there staring, 
and judging. Like you're, you, you ain't even there. You're just a burden. So why even bother? Sun comes up, sun comes down, moon comes up, moon comes down. They never care. They never will. You're just a burden to the world and society around you. So why don't you just leave? No one cares. They never will. Sun comes up, sun comes down, moon comes up, moon comes down. Hey, guess what? That boy, yeah, he's gone now. Stop global warming, and if people make an effort, all these problems will slow. If people learn to conserve and recycle and protect wildlife and just take care of what's going on, the world will become a better place. Surrounded by others who are bounded by change and violence. In real, to reveal their true identity and show you who they really are. But can they really do it? Are they really strong enough? Or do they have to hide behind the mask? You may never know, because they may never take off the mask. And you'll never see what lies beneath the mask, because you'll never see what is underneath the mask. Maybe they're taking in waves of insecurity or sailing over an ocean of depression. Or maybe they're taking in countless hours of abuse. You can sometimes see what they have to offer through the cracks in their masks, not showing, but lurking, until nobody is around to release it into their system of life. So next time you see someone, don't just judge them on their outer shell. Look a little bit beneath the mask and see who they really are. We all enter this world, we all leave it. Some of us do so many in our lives, and some of us don't. But in the end, it doesn't really matter, because we are all the same. I look back at it and I wonder, why weren't people separating themselves from their own kind? Why weren't people separated because of the color of their skin? But then you think about it and you realize, it did help. Make African Americans stand up, prove everyone wrong. Make sure that the color of their skin didn't choose the content of the character. But then still today, people don't get it. They just don't understand. So today is a new day. Today we are all equal. So you can join the new day, or you can get out of our way. Yes? No way. All right, I'll tell right now. Brad. What? You're going to feature on the new J. Cole song. What? I thought he doesn't do features. That's what I thought, but he said you're the rap style. I mean, I guess I can't argue with that, <laughs> but... No buts. This is going to be insane. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't grasp the opportunity to go to college, the opportunity to strive for their goals. 
There are 57 million children in the world who don't have an education. Instead of walking to school, they work for their parents, try to teach it, which try to teach them life lessons, make them work for a job that pays a dollar an hour, a job that works the physical strengths and not the mental. The books we carry to school are the weight of hard labor other kids love on their back. We aren't saying you have it easy. There are people in school who make it hard. Look at all the bullying in schools across the country. We're just making everyone aware the more education you have, the less you judge other situations. Your bed drops, drops down, down to the bed of your knees. Your bed fills to the, the room with books, books and sheets. Your eyes widen your way to be in school and getting taught the long lessons that will help you shine in life. Boys can mentally and physically harass girls. 
Tell me why it's okay that at age 18 men think that they can use women as objects. Tell me why it's okay that at age 21 a six-year-old man in office can tell me a woman what to do with my body. Tell me why it's okay that at age 25 I should find a man. Tell me why it's okay that at age 30 I should be settling down with a husband and a kid starting a family. Tell me why it's okay that at age 50 us women shouldn't show any signs of aging. Tell me why it's okay that at age 80 is when men finally start to catch up with being as equally weak as us. Tell me why you would want your mother, sister, aunt, grandma, friend, or any female to feel as if they weren't good enough for the men in their lives. If one word described our generation, it would be technology. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat surround us. It's like our whole lives are shared through a screen. We don't need to see each other in person to talk anymore. Our whole lives can fit in our back pocket. We live by the same photo, or it did happen. We don't have to go out into the world anymore, but not that we need to, right? For shopping, we have Amazon. For food, we have Postmates. And for dating, we have Tinder. We forget that there's a whole world around us. Our lives revolve around retweets, posts, and videos. Many kids freak when they're not attached to their phones. Our phones can be used for such good, like keeping dates or notes by people who pass that and use them too much. We do challenges that the internet told us to do even if they're, if they're harmful to us, like the Tide Pods challenge. Well, I have a new challenge. Tonight, put down your phone. Talk to someone you know in person. Read a book, go outside. Enjoy each other's company because if we take granted for it, we will regret it. I'm guilty of it, and I'm sure some of you guys are too. But maybe, we can make the world a happier place, one shot off phone at a time. wondering if anyone will believe them so we as a generation can save ourselves from destruction. This is happening now, but we continue to sit in this belief. We ignore the news and shrug it off. Not in our generation, not in our time. It's been predicted that we have 13 years till climate change takes over. That's 2032. But we can all avoid this if we just stop in our tracks. Imagine if we could reduce the amount of greenhouse gases released into our system. Imagine if we could save species of animals from going extinct. It's not going to happen unless we all pitch in a little. Start making your difference before everyone's time runs out. Life can be a meaning that we cannot comprehend, that holds and traps us in an endless cycle of repeat. Petals from a flower, each describing a different reality that we hold within ourselves. While well, dreaming, I feel as if no one knows me, a sense of relief, a feeling that I can start anew, a burden that was sitting on my soul suddenly laid off with my sense of direction, spinning me in all directions. Gravity is pulling my mind, body, and soul back down into a place where I'm now free to be me and where society has a rule of thumb that everyone must follow. My head sinks further and further into the earth, rotating me 365 times until I give up. I give up all control of my mind, body, and soul. The eerie silence of the rooms gives me the creeps. All I can do is weep. Weep till your heart's content, she said. Give your heart total control, she said again. But I can't do that, I exclaimed. I'm not ready, I wanted to say. But she didn't listen. No, it didn't. They didn't take my words seriously. They mocked my procrastination. They didn't know my pain and the things I go through every day. Let your fears rest that way, a stranger came to say. He said to just let it go, but I knew my mind, body, and soul had no other place to go. 
I had so many too soon, for the fear of losing to a murderous crew with the raven eyes and the complex looks. Everyone just stood there in shock, as if they were waiting for the end of a deadlock. I write this, I write that, I write this, I write that, I write this, I write that, but then I stop. I saw a bellhop get hit by a raindrop while playing on the desktop on a hilltop. At the same time, a kid did a belly flop with a mother at a beauty shop and, just, and their father at a coffee shop and their sister eating a lollipop. But where does this leave me? In a world full of fleas and bees, not just a kid climbing up a tree looking for a key? But then I fell. And as I sit here and wonder, oh well. Our parents were like huh? us. Having technology around was not a must because it wasn't an option for them. They used to play and talk with their friends the right way, at least, and not with their phones in their little funny case. People used to go outside and talk face to face. I know I'm over exaggerating. People still talk to each other, but everyone's heads are down. Not a word, not a sound. To be honest, I think human trying to make us less human because we're not communicating or viewing how the world looks because we think nothing's important unless it's on a screen. And it makes me sick to think how my ancestors did something productive every day, and some of us just throw it all away. And before you know it, minutes, then hours pass by before your eyes, and all of a sudden it hits you like a big surprise. How could it be 8 o'clock already? I just got home at 3. And you think, how could this happen? As you think in disbelief. And the sad thing is, this isn't the only day that you stare at electronics and waste countless days. And the bullying, it's the worst of them all. I, somebody's just p pointing out somebody else's flaws. When the flaws are what makes somebody unique from everybody else, people should be embracing the flaws of him or herself. And some people are just so addicted it's terrible. For example, at dinner time, somebody will go down and take a seat. But as they do, they take out the electronic and watch something as they eat. So I think that electronics are corrupting our planet, and electronics are everywhere, and I just can't stand it.
Thank you.